Do you both want children? No! You don't want children! You want children! I am guessing that this is the first time you're having this conversation, right? You have never told me you don't want children! But you've never asked! Isn't it obvious that after marriage, kids follow? Says who? Uh, uh, no, I'm not ready to take that burden. <laughs> I will not take care of baby screaming and the baby talk, not me. <laughs> but I have seen you with your nephews and nieces, Jackson. Mm. And then you're so good with them. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, is it that you do not want kids at all? Or you don't want a family with me? Wait a minute. Do you want us to talk about that right now? In front of a total stranger. I, let us do it later. Later? Yes. You and I both know that we do not talk to each other. And that we are barely in that house at the same time. We are having this conversation now. Pardon me for interrupting, but from what I gather, do you two ever set aside time to, you know, Talk about, talk about your day, talk about your emotions, talk about your dreams and your aspirations, or just talk about anything at all. <laughs> well, he barely looks at me when he leaves for work, let alone talk to you. You see, communication is key for any relationship whatsoever to thrive. Oui. Is it true that you do not talk to your wife? I am tired of this. I am tired of every bit of this conversation. I'm tired of the blame game, Diana. You have called me insensitive. Maybe you're right. You have said that I do not support your own dreams of having your own career goal, yeah? <laughs> I do not blame you. You are yet to see the point in it. But to dare blame me for the communication problem in this marriage, Diana? <laughs> no! That is totally unacceptable! <laughs> and now that you're being honest, by the way, tell her. Tell her why we don't have those silly talks or why communication doesn't work in this marriage at all. Tell her! What is your husband talking about? But you don't talk to me when you come home. Mm -hmm. My husband has a drinking problem. What? Uh, what do you mean your husband has a drinking problem? He doesn't drink and I do and that is the problem. <laughs> in this marriage. I spend my days at work. I mean, I'm a hardworking man, you know. So I spend my days at work and then when I come back home in the evening, she is not there. Because she's busy drinking with her girlfriend. I don't know where. And when I ask her about it, she says, oh, it's a baby shower, oh, it's a bridal shower, or something close to that. How many showers are these? And why? Why must they always happen at night? <laughs> this seems to be something that bothers you very much. Of what? course, it bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> Diana comes home very late at night, reeking of alcohol, singing all manner of inappropriate songs with an equal inappropriate voice. The whole... <laughs> The horror! The horror! The horror! Hey! And then, and then she sneaks into the bed, pulls the blanket to her side, and there and then, she's asleep. A few seconds later, she starts to snow. Can you <laughs> She snores in a very loud voice, a very loud voice, which makes me wonder, really, how can such a small person make so much noise? Come on. Natalie, I have received, I have received two warning letters. 
letters from my landlord. Do! Do! Ah, uh, uh, surely, Diana. Let us be honest with each other. How do you expect me to talk to you in the morning after having such a horrendous night? How? You will not allow me to work or do anything, Jackson. <laughs> Am I just supposed to sit in the house, watch the door anxiously, waiting for your arrival? Am I just supposed to walk around and gossip with the neighbors, discuss current affairs with the watchmen, and walk around aimlessly waiting for the day to end? Do you know how hard that is? Yesterday, there was a robbery at the estate. Do you know who was among the suspects? I was. <laughs> Diana Tal, an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Just because I am always around. <laughs> I did not get married to waste away my years like this. I want a family and I want a career. Do not blame this on work, Diana. Don't do that. I met you when you're still drinking, right? And to make it worse, your, your so-called girlfriends, they have been a bad influence on you. Ever since we met, they have been poisoning your mind with nonsense. Pure nonsense. Oh, Diana, do not do this to yourself. Diana, sure, an accountant. <laughs> Diana, you are too young to get into marriage. <laughs> Most of them are either single or there's a man somewhere running for their dear lives. <laughs> Diana, how, how do you surely expect us to bring up children in this world while their mother is constantly drinking with her girlfriends? <laughs> huh? Come on, I married you, Diana. It is you who I said I do to. You and only you. It is you who I say I do to in front of our friends and families. And before God. Not Diana and a poisonous girlfriend. I married you. Now you think I am going to be a bad mother to our imaginary children? Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we are making some progress. You are not going to mock me, okay? <laughs> Natalia, how can you possibly term this as progress? Because you two are finally starting to communicate. <laughs> Mrs. Stella, if I may ask, what do you think your husband likes about you? Apparently, I am the worst human being he has ever met. I am a drunk, I am a bad mother, and besides, my husband has never told me he loves me. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> he has never said those three words to me. Not even on your wedding day? Especially on our wedding day. So what did he say to you once you were married? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> we are married! <laughs> Is it true that you do not tell your wife that you love her? Is it a mask? Is it it obvious? We are married, right? Yes. You have to tell your wife that you love her and cherish her as often as possible. Yes. <laughs> you see, reassurance goes a very long way in marriage. I, I think you are making some of those things up. <laughs> Let me rephrase my earlier question. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Tala. Yes. What things about your husband do you not like? He is a bully sometimes. He makes fun of 
of serious situations, he became so boring. When Wait a minute, what do you mean I became so boring? Let her finish, please. Wait, does this look like a boring face to you? Yes. <laughs> you stopped trying, Jackson. You don't do the things you used to do before. You see, I married a spontaneous man. A man who would just surprise me at my workplace just to say he hadn't told me I am beautiful that day. <laughs> you see, we'd go, for, we'd go for random walks or just stay in sometimes just to enjoy each other's company. You were the most romantic man I had ever met, Jackson. <laughs> but all you do nowadays is sleep and go to work. Sleep and go to work. I do not marry an animal, Jackson. It's driving me crazy. Are you finished? After our families and friends left. After the wedding ceremony was all over. After all that excitement. We went to our new home and everything just went silent. It's, it's as if we, we didn't know what to say or what to do after that. And every time I looked into your eyes, Jackson, I, I saw either regret or confusion in them. And I thought that maybe this is how it all begins and that maybe they hadn't told us what to expect. And, and that if we slept it off, things will be better the next day. We barely spoke two words to each other that evening. And that has been the case for the past eight days. <laughs> you, you see, the only proper conversations we have now is when we are arguing. <laughs> and that's all we do nowadays. This is my life now. Have you talked to your husband about any of this? Yes. But he says I have too many feelings. Of course. Is that true, Mr. Tala? Yes. She has too many feelings. She's always feeling something or catching a feeling. Too many feelings in that house. <laughs> Doctor, I am not allowed to squash mosquitoes with my bare hands. Because she thinks that mosquitoes also deserve a dignified death. <laughs> so if I must kill them, then I must use insecticides. No, Doctor, don't you find that ridiculous? She needs to toughen up a little. Is that one of the things that you do not like about your wife? Well, there is that. <laughs> there is um, her drinking problem. Um, her poisonous girlfriends. And uh, her OCD. OCD? Obsessive compulsive disorder. What sort of a doctor are you? I know what it means. Could you please shed some more light on that? I do not have OCD. Yes, you do. Why do you think your wife has OCD? <laughs> Dr. Ari, I don't think it. Hey. <laughs> I believe she has OCD. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs>